Hello everyone, how you doing? Welcome. Whew, I do not even know how to start this video, but I know that I have to do this video. So here I am. Please bear with me. I know I've been gone for so long. This channel is dead because I have to leave. I just, I couldn't keep up. I understand that life happens and you guys understand that life happens. I'm very grateful for everybody that's still sticking with me today. I really appreciate you. If you're seeing my video for the first time, my name is Jumi. And if you've been here, you've been riding with me from the beginning, let me reintroduce myself. This is Jumi. Oh my God, a lot had happened. Literally, a lot had happened. The reason why I was gone is basically because of my mental state. There was so much going on in my life that I could not. I just could not do it. I couldn't come to YouTube and and pretend that everything is good. And I'm not a person that is easily vulnerable. I'm not, I'm not that person because um, I judge myself so much that at that time I couldn't. I'm working on that now, I'm getting better. So, because I'm understanding life better now. There are a few changes that affected my mental state to go to where it go went to, where I couldn't even do YouTube video. I can manage life, but trying to figure out my way out of the pile of crap, but just couldn't do it and come in and pretend. I've been able to create content when my military career was pretty intense, but I was still doing it because that's how I get over it, right? That's my, my persona that I, that's me outside of everything. One of the reason is my body was telling me, Jimmy, hmm, you're not young no more. You cannot do this. This military thing is not for you no more. You got to go. My body is ready, but my brain is saying I'm not ready yet. Regardless, I had to go. The simple way to put retirement for me from the military is I was on cloud. No. I was high and I had to crash. I have to come down. And during my come down, I crashed as I was coming down. And why do I say this? It's because during my military career, I couldn't focus on myself. I was constantly doing what I have to do to survive, doing what I have to do, especially when you're in leadership, you're constantly doing stuff for other people. You really don't really have time to take care of yourself. I have family, I have kids, I have husband, I have a home to run, all of that. But military career is on top of everything. So when I was now retiring, now I had to find myself again. And it was during that time when I was retiring like a year before my retirement is when the big P happened where life changes there's a lot of stuff going on in addition to that that added to it then we have to move to where we need to be then what am I going to do when I finish my when I retired and take a break a little bit I, pla I planned six months which is as I, I did actually i didn't even do six months but with addition to my leave i was able to do close to six months before i went to school but i was thinking as in korea i am not going to sit at home even though i did not have to work but i, I am not going to sit at home i cannot i'm not that type of person i have to be walking around or my husband is going to i'm going to drive my husband crazy so i have to leave the house to go work so but then I was like, okay, I will continue. I will move towards my PhD and then I will retire, go do my PhD in psychology and then start working. Hmm. I don't want to do nine to five. I just don't want to do it no more. I don't want to wake up in the morning and do all that. I don't mind waking up. That's not the problem. I just don't want to do nine to five, five days a week. And I was like, okay. I love nursing too. I've dabbled a little bit. I've tried to join the nurse corps in the military, but I wasn't accepted at the time, so I just gave up on that dream. 
So I was like, okay, I'll do that. Of course, that required me to go back in education, which I don't mind because I can always catch up later. So I will still go do my PhD. I just have to do. So that being said, now applying for school, moving, because all of these things has to be coordinated because now remember, now we have, we, we know what we want. Now as a family, we have to move as one. Everything has to work for everybody because everybody else has been sacrificing for me all my military career. When I move, they move. They don't care. They don't want to move. They got to move. They have a job. My husband have a job that he like, he got to move. You know, all of those kind of things for us to be together, sacrifice has always been on me. Now, that creates a lot of issue because trying to feed everybody in there. And while I'm still going through myself, losing it and getting out of that career that I really enjoy, all of that, my health, when it comes to my body falling apart, all of that created a lot of thought that I did not even have time to create content. Now I understand that content will always be there to be made. But what I didn't get really at the time is how hard it can be to come back. So it's been hard. Which is one of the reasons why I'm excited. Uh, uh, uh. I'm excited coming back today. Actually sitting down and shooting this video because I've talked to myself. For four hours, I've been telling myself, nah, it's not going to come out. You're not going to do it. I just like, you know what? I'm, I'm recording this video. I don't even care how it comes out. Because if I care about how it comes out, I would never do it. So I'm just going to do it anyway. Because I'm that one person that will fear and still do it anyway. But when it comes to a lot of people judging, it's kind of even added for me, which is what the YouTube is for me, because there's a lot of people that can, that can see that content and they can put their judgment in there. But what I'm learning now, like I said earlier, I say middle, middle, <laughs> middle life, whatever you're going to call it, like that 50 series age, I'm learning that nobody really cares. And if they care, do you care? And if you don't care, and if you're not hurting anybody, please go ahead and do it. Which brought me to this. If you have anything that you have passion for and you want to do, please go for it. Because I was stopped out from a lot of stuff, but I still do it. I have fear about a lot of stuff I still do. So take that out of this video. If you don't take anything, just take that. If there's anything in your life right now that you would like to do, it's not hurting you. It's not hurting anybody else. You might have to make sacrifices. Please just do it. Because you only have one life to live. Be a good person. And do stuff that is good for yourself. That satisfies your mental state. That make your life fulfilling. Just do it. So, moved. And now I'm in nursing school. Applying to nursing school, I'm going to tell you this. I thought, okay, when I apply for nursing school, I should be, when I'm in school, maybe one, finish one semester, I should be good to get back to on YouTube. Wrong. Getting to nursing school, it's emotional roller coaster. Because you apply, and then you're waiting for one to get you. you now, at a point, I'm like, you know, I can't be waiting. I'll just go for the one that I know. They have good and class passing rate. It's tough. People complain. But guess what? I'm going to have to get it done. I'm going to do it. Because I, I can't sit at home past six months. So I applied to Chamberlain. I did get into Chamberlain. I think I applied to school, school, two schools. One was playing around. They're putting me on a waiting list because of some, there's other people waiting already. I just can't do that waiting thing. I'm too old. So I just went to Chamberlain, put my paperwork in, everything is done. Waiting for them to call me back. That's another roller coaster. They call me back, then we start. Even though I've watched so many videos here on YouTube, ooh. I was up for crew that with me because nursing school is not easy, but doable. It's okay. And what makes it hard for me is I'm like, oh, I'm out of the military now. Nobody's going to tell me what to do. You know, I can do whatever I want, whatever. Nah, nursing school tell you what to do. Nothing I say, oh, tell you what to do, you know, except that I won't be doing five, nine to five every day. I can choose when I want to work and have my schedule go to work, take your patient and come back home. And that's it. If I go back next time, I carry the next patient. But after the three days that I'm on, on shift, that's it. I 
care for people i love people but what i'm caring more about it's my meant to stay so that's what makes me go for nursing and now that in my last year of nursing school i just got this is my last year of nursing school i want to share my journey um i was talking to my friend nadia you might know her start by casting over and she was telling me jimmy you know you have so much going on in the background but you never show it you never show it so how would people know and i thought to myself really i thought this imposter syndrome is very common with african-american african black as a whole generally human being imposter syndrome always make you feel like what you have you did not achieve it's a fluke and I, I think that was one of my problem because I always feel like, oh, somebody's going to judge. You are fake. You're not real. But guess what? I did achieve stuff that I achieved. It might not be too that big for anybody, but it might be enough to motivate somebody else out there. So that's one of the, another reason why I came back. Apart from the fact that it's my passion, it's for me. It's for other people too that I can encourage, that can see my life, um, the part of my life that I would like to share. Because despite all of this, I'm still a private person, but I'm just more restricted. I restricted myself when I was active duty, you know? But now I wanna share. I wanna share me going from the level that I'm in now in school to when I get my PhD in nursing. That's a personal accomplishment for me. I wanna share that. and. There's no better way to do that than to sh to carry people along, right? On the story. Even though up till this moment, I didn't share nothing, but I can share. I can share. I have receipts that I can share. So um, another thing is the fact that the house that we bought is 20 years old, right? During the time that we're about to move, it was during the big P. So the house building was very slow and it was so backlog in the area and the type of house the one that fit budget and everything style everything right and the area in the state that we moved to in the city inventory was not good at all but i found out the older house have the floor plan that i want have the quality that i want have the floor size that i want have the good area that i want for my children and me and have the good schools all of that together except that some of the things in the house i don't like but i have to close my eyes and just say babe let's just get this i'm gonna work on it and we're gonna work on it together to make it home for us so in that i would like to share with you what i'm doing in the house like i like to, i love to use my hand so what i'm doing to make a change to the house i would like to show you as i'm doing them even though I'm very busy in school, but I would like to kind of plan ahead and do what I need to do. And again, my hair, yes. One of the reasons why I started this channel was because of my natural hair and makeup. So I would like to go back to that. I do not want to delete anything. I want it, my channel, I want this channel to be everything about me. A little bit of everything. And I know that might not be for everybody, but whatever it is, part of me that you like i will beg you to stay with me so if you're new here you have not subscribed this is the first time you're coming across my video please subscribe to my channel and give me a like because that is going to help my channel to come back from the dead because currently it's dead yo. this channel is dead shaking no sound but I'm going to have to try everything. I will do what it needs to be done to be able to bring it back to life. And I'm counting on everybody. I need your help. So please share my video as I'm uploading. Please comment. Please like. Please interact with me. I would like to interact with you. I want a life out of, outside of nursing school. And this is what I chose to be my life outside of nursing school for now. I really appreciate you guys for sticking um, by me. I thank you for everybody that's been here for so long. I'm not sure when this video is going to go up, but when it goes up, I'm going to leave something in the community tab. Please take, um, keep an eye on that. I want to know 
what what video you guys want to see i'm going to put some options in there and then i wanted to know the reason being is because my life right now with nursing school yeah i'm even bored trying to introduce you to video youtube content creating but guess what i'm gonna do it anyway because that's what i want to do right so i have to make time which means to be able to make time for i have to plan and put in my calendar so i have to plan my content ahead please help me with this i want to be successful this time i want to be real with you i want to show you my nigerian side too if you would like to see it yes i sabi now i'll be i'll be speaking no, I'm not good at pigeon. But I speak Yoruba. I can speak Yoruba if you want me to make video Yoruba. I am good at it. That's my first language. I love it. Yeah? So thank you very much for sticking by me. Thank you for being here. I really love you guys. I appreciate you for sticking with me if you've been here for a long time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do not forget to like this video. And I'll see you in my next video. Love you. Bye. Mwah.